Cherokee Health Systems provides a range of services across about 13 different counties. Only about five of our clinics are in urban areas. Uh, the remainder are in rural communities. So that is the large proportion of the people that we serve. With COVID, everyone was afraid. We didn't want to risk exposure. So thankfully now we have the telehealth strategies for providing care. That has been a game changer. I did not know about telehealth.hhs.gov until I had the opportunity to incorporate telehealth into our workflow. And so I look for resources about people who've already done it because there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Telehealth's greatest benefit has basically eliminated this thought that people can't get to an appointment. Because in person, when you have as big a barrier as transportation can be, the telehealth appointments can swoop in and they can continue that continuity of care and, and leads to much better outcomes. When I ask them to come in for an appointment with me, that's three hours of work I've asked them to give up. With telemedicine, telehealth, they step aside on their break and they still can receive the care they would have received had they come in here. We received funding from HRSA to purchase the mobile clinic to provide telehealth services to populations and communities that had previously gone unreached by our integrated care model. 99% of our practice on the bus is telehealth. Um, it's been really helpful, actually, because we have patients who don't want to leave their homes. I find this situation with our mobile clinic creates an ability for us to connect with our patient one-on-one. -on -one. Using telehealth, yeah, does make it easier because I don't have to bother anybody to take me to the doctor, come get me, none of my relatives or friends or anybody like that. So my experience with telehealth has been, it's been great. It makes my life a lot easier. Using the mobile clinic that HRSA provided funding for, we're able to go into rural communities and attempt to use broadband face-to-face -face connection as much as possible. We have had to default to audio-only telehealth mechanisms because of the reduced strength of broadband and access. However, that does provide us an opportunity to advocate for additional changes in infrastructure for those patients and communities. People are more comfortable speaking in their familiar environment and talking about issues that are really important to them because they are comfortable and they're at a place where they feel safe. Virtual visits and, and phone visits in particular really build trust in the patient-provider relationship and rapport. Telehealth.hhs.gov can be incredibly helpful to anyone and I would recommend that to my patients without a doubt.